My name is Amy Diedrich and I am the Discipline Leader of Environmental Management in the College of Science and Engineering. Hello, my name is Sean Bellwood. My background is in mathematics. Hello, I'm Heather Robson from the College of Science and Engineering. Hi, I'm Robin Tulader. I'm from Nepal. I'm Associate Professor in Civil Engineering. Hi, I'm Mark Hammond. I'm an Associate Professor in Marine Biology here at James Cook University. Hi there, I'm Dr. Naomi Gardner. I'm one of the Marine Biology and Fisheries Lecturers here at JCU in Townsville. When you're studying uh, with us here at JC, I think there's a, a few different things that uh, you should remember. I'm just going to um, bring it down to three, three key points. First one is that it's really, really important that in your studies you do not get behind. Okay, The semester, um, whether it's a six week or a 13 week semester, will go very, very quickly. And so if you, if you take your foot off the pedal and, you, and you're not studying, uh, then there'll be, uh, you'll, you'll get behind relatively quickly. My advice to the student is that it is always easier to stay ahead in your studies than playing a catch-up game. So to make sure that you are st staying ahead in the studies, make sure that you don't miss any lectures and tutorials, and you are doing your assignments or any prescribed homeworks in time within that week itself. Just as importantly is that you really commit that time to your studies. As tempting as it may be to skip a class and go save a turtle on the Great Barrier Reef, it's really, really important that you attend your lectures, that you um, go through and do your readings and make sure that any of those amazing opportunities that you have, you can fit in around your studies. So for every subject you study, we kindly, we roughly give a 10 hour study time in and outside of classroom that you require to dedicate it for every subject per week. So if you are doing four subjects in a semester, you need to dedicate at least 40 hours of study in and outside classroom. So whenever you make any plans for laser work, make sure that you have dedicated 40 hours of study time in and outside of classroom. You really need to be able to manage all aspects of your life around your study. Uh, so undoubtedly you'll have family commitments, you'll have friends that you want to connect with, you'll probably have work commitments as well. But it's really critically important that you are able to fit your university study um, around those things. So you need to learn to set your priorities correctly. Yes, of course you have to go around, explore Australia and enjoy your life in Australia. And some of you might have to work as a part-time uh, work as well, but you always need to remember that you are here to study and that should be your top priority all of the time. My tips for when you get here and you start studying and start interacting with local people, both in the university and out in the community, is to try and be engaged, try and become part of the university and be part of the student life. So there's lots of colleges, there's lots of clubs, societies, there's lots of interest groups, and all of these provide a mechanism for you to get out and be part of the non-academic part of the university. And I think these are really important things because they help you. So take advantage of every opportunity that you're given, but as an academic, please, please, please don't miss your classes. Engage with us. You know, we have, you're coming to a really exciting place at JCU um, where we, we really pride ourselves on the work that we're doing, on our teaching and our research. My advice is to make the most of this time in our community and get involved. Go along to your classes, obviously, and, and do your assignments, but take the opportunity to um, to go to seminars, to do some volunteering, to get involved in the different research activities. So I think it's really, really important that you stay connected. And there's different ways that we, we can do that. We can stay connected with our cohort. Because one of the really nice things about the cohort that you have with you here at JCU is there's a lot of diversity in that cohort. And that diversity can be used to your advantage. If you don't know something about what you're studying, then it's likely that someone else in your class does. So if you connect with those other people in your class, then you've got much more of an opportunity to, um, to take advantage of that knowledge that they bring uh, with, with them. And of course, you can reciprocate and it makes you feel really um, nice working together in, in a team like that. One of the most important skills, I think, is communication. So if you are struggling with something, it's really important that you communicate, that you talk to your lecturers, that you talk to your peers, because we're here to help you and we can connect you with uh, the support teams that will help you to uh, develop or address the problems that you may be experiencing. It might be something as simple as not understanding a question or an assignment, or it might be that you need a little bit of extra help um, with your written skills or with a computer program. It's really, really important that if you 
are, are struggling and, and you've tried to connect with your student with your fellow students and you're still struggling that you reach out to your um, your tutors and your lecturers because if they don't know that you've got a problem then they can't help you uh, and and of course they're very very invested in, in in helping you and want you to succeed make friends when you are here it's very important that you make friends and whenever you you are working or studying, make sure that you are working in a team as well because it is much easier to work in a team than you are working yourself. So make friends and work with them in a team that's much easier and it's the best way to learn. Be professional at all times. Make sure that you get your assignments done on time, that you put as much effort into them as you can, that you deliver quality work, that you engage with your peers and your lecturers, and that you come to your tutorials and lectures because it'll make it a more enjoyable and uh, useful experience.